All right, welcome back to the vlog, Hopesters. Dominic, we just got him home from school. We're actually getting a late start on the vlog today. He's on the phone. I shouldn't be so close and talk so loud. Billy and I, we went, we ate lunch, we went to a record store. That's all about the only thing that's happened for the day, really. Besides me doing a whole bunch of dishes, but I was talking with Billy instead of doing the dishes with Dan. Hudson's bus should be pulling up any minute. And then once Hudson gets here, I'm gonna get her set up, getting her after school water, get her set up so she can get her after school nap that she normally takes. And then I gotta get Billy to the airport. So it's about uh, 4 p.m. You guys are missing all the action in here. Well, Billy's giving a show. You want to see Hudson in? Ta da! Hudson! Wow. You see that? Uncle Billy's got some crazy moves, doesn't he? <laughs> you see those crazy moves Uncle Billy's doing? Those are some crazy moves, aren't they? After he's done Let with his carrots, he can have graham crackers. Let me kiss you, Canva. <laughs> Let me hug it. All right, we gotta go. We gotta get in the road. Let gotta get Billy to the airport. To Billy and his camera, and you'll we'll say bye to Billy's camera. Bye, Billy. Well, you've already said bye a bunch of times. I'll miss you. I gotta, I gotta grab the van cam. Bye, Dad. I'll miss bye. You. I love you, and I'll miss you for an hour. I say we switch to the van cam right now. I did the slap. <laughs> we switched hands, Billy. Whatever, like, man. Is that I what need your, gonna know? I need your high five uh, sound. <laughs> so we took the big van just because I like to drive the big van sometimes. I didn't feel like driving Casey's car. And we love the van cam. Van cam! And that was what I was saying. I don't have the van cam set up in Casey's car. So we gotta use it here. So in order to film, took the van so that we could have the van cam. Because of the Dan. Dan. It's Dan the Dan Van. Dan Van. With the Van Van. The keys on the Van. With the Vans. Oh! Hey. Baby. <laughs> the airport's like, it takes 35 minutes, 40 minutes to get 
to the airport from our house. It's uh, like quarter after four and Billy's flight's at 645 and Kansas City Airport is amazing. And if you've been watching these vlogs for a while, you literally get out of the car and you walk right up to the ticketing agent and right through security at, at your flight. And I don't know if you guys watch my vlogs, but if you do, you would understand that I'm always late. <laughs> so this is the perfect airport for me. It's true. It is an ongoing theme in your vlogs that you're always late for flights. Or the wrong gate, one or the other. <laughs> Pretty sure the comments on this video have been disabled because every single episode now seems to have the comments disabled. Doesn't matter whether I show the kids or not, whatever. Please find this thumbnail that you see for this video. Find that same looking thumbnail under our community tab and that's where we do the comments. It's not ideal, of course. It's not the same. You're not able to reply as easily. It's just a list. So I, uh, I have been Twitter posting to YouTube, begging them to make the community tab more community accessible. Yeah, come on YouTube, what's going so, on? Yeah, why would you make a community tab that is not easy Let to Let Dan reply? have his comments. <laughs> Look at the mansion. Oh, there it is, wow. Yeah. But if we won the lottery, we'd buy that mansion because it's all laid out for oxygen, it's handicapped accessible because the guy who owned it was a paraplegic. It's a $14 million mansion on 103 acres. And it's right across the street. Lottery, man. It's right across the street from the dump, so nobody's buying it. The guy yeah, passed can, away in like like seven years ago. Have you even looked like into like how much it costs to like throw your trash away? I mean, you literally just have to throw it in your front yard and it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> right. you don't but if I won all that money in the lottery, see, then I could build like four or five homes on 110 acres and move my whole family in there. Right? Complex, and, it, and the thing has a fence all the way around it, so it's zombie proof. Yeah. And that I, is an important thing to have. One thing I would like to add though is you should probably spend some of that money and make like little tunnels. Like a little hamster trail for you to get into and out. Just do like, like paved, paved access to Yeah, but uh, you want to have like underground tunnels, man. No, what I want to have is all a, a lot more money left over. If I start building uh, underground Elon Musk style tunnels, I'm going to be completely yo, out of Elon, money. Call this guy. <laughs> Help him out. He wants to build some tunnels. I think it's a great idea. But instead of $100 million for that, I'm going to have to win $300 million. We don't win Make tonight. it so. <laughs> or okay. we should just hit, make, a, make a hit song called the Dan Cam. That's Dan all I need is a Cam, hit song. Dan Cam. So, Dan speaking of the guy who owned it, so he was a trash mogul, Mr. Deppenbaugh, and when he passed away, he didn't have any family, no kids, he didn't leave it, like, to anyone. It's just an estate that's been left there. Nobody lives there now. But speaking of, there it is, Deppenbaugh Industries. <laughs> we just passed we want your house. one of the trash trucks from that guy's empire. Trash empire. Spirit in the sky. We gotta find spirit. Dun, 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 dun. Never drive with Spirit Airlines. Alaska. They are really, really, really bad. <laughs> this is not a paid advertisement for Spirit Airlines. Yeah. <laughs> and in all reality, do not do Spirit Airlines. Terminal C, as in can't stand Spirit Airlines. <laughs> D, as in you're a dummy if you get on Spirit Airlines. <laughs> e, as in exactly. everyone should not fly Spirit <laughs> Airlines. F, as in <gasps> Spirit <laughs> Airlines. <laughs> yeah, you hit that on the head, man. There it is, right there. I'm gonna have to spend the extra 55 bucks on it and get the front row. I do not want to sit in the back again. I'm from the bed and I'm proud about it. Hey, it's been fun, fan cam. We'll see you next time. All right, we're back at the airport. Flight. He tried to give me gas money. 
<laughs> so I got up and pretended I was getting his bag for him and put it back in the pocket of his backpack. <laughs> gotcha, Billy. But thank you anyway. I think he's getting out of here just in time. Storms are rolling in. I'm gonna get started on something for dinner. Hudson's got a diaper right now. I gotta go change it. In case he's got a phone call. And uh, hey, we're back to regular at home, just with the family. I'm gonna be quiet, Casey's on a phone call. Well, she was on a phone call with a client, and now she's talking with the agent that she was doing the, the case with, so they're chatting, but just trying to be quiet. That is the only part of this recipe that I could tell you how I'm doing it as, hold on. Now I'm coming out here to grab the van cam. I left it in the van. I wanna grab it before the storms start. We've got like severe thunderstorms supposedly coming in tonight. And I don't wanna to have to come out here in the rain to try to get it so that I can do some editing because I need to get some editing done because I haven't put an episode up in a couple of days. Ah, somebody's trying to escape. Actually, her food's right outside the door. It's dinner time in 10 minutes. Uh, she, think, she thinks I went out there to get food, which I'm about to, but fan cam. So what I'm making for dinner tonight, <laughs> what I'm making for dinner tonight is almond chicken, but it's a recipe from this Chinese restaurant that we used to go to that was there from like 1953. They closed it down, I want to say like 10 years ago. And the family kind of just, it was a family that ran it and he said, we get almond chicken, I'd get an order of wontons and an egg drop soup. Well, they came out with a recipe book like 10 years ago, eight years ago. Anyway, point is in there is a recipe for almond chicken, but I cannot tell you that recipe because I'm still friends with the person who made that cookbook and she sells those and I would never give away her recipe, but her recipe is not gluten-free for the breading of the chicken. So that part, I can tell you, all this is, is four small chicken breasts that I chopped up. And then I crack two eggs in there and then I start adding cornstarch to it instead of flour and keep beating it and beating it until I feel that it's a nice, thick, almost pancake batter thickness. And then it's got some salt and pepper and garlic, a little bit of ginger in it, but the sauce I made a few weeks ago when we had this and I froze some of the sauce. So the sauce is throwing in some hot water. That's the, that's the real secret right there. But I also can't tell you. Basically when this is done, it's breaded chicken and it's got an almond flavored kind of sweet and sour sauce and almond flakes on it. And then we're going to have it with some peas over white rice. It's going to be delicious because I already know because I've already had that sauce. <laughs> so Casey's ex excited, not just because I'm making the almond chicken because she loves it. It's, I've made it like three times now ever, but I'm also boiling some eggs for, see if you can guess. <laughs> Casey's favorite thing has to do with boiled eggs. Everybody knows what that is. It's deviled eggs. I'm gonna make her a batch of deviled eggs and I'm sure she's gonna be happy about it, right? Doesn't that look good? That is breaded. It is essentially gluten-free. I fried it in canola oil. So those are the chicken chunks. And then the sauce goes on it. This is one half of the sauce. And the other half of the sauce is right here, warming up. And it is, yeah, I can bring it up. It was getting another like minute while it was in there. 
Plenty warm. Then we mix these two sauces together and I put the almond flakes on it. And that, my friend, is the secret recipe for almond chicken. If you want that, I uh, if I can find the link, it will be included under this, where you can buy the cookbook. There are amazing recipes in there. They're not too hard to do. You should definitely, I hope that, well, Patricia Yee sells them. She's my Facebook friend. And I'm gonna reach out to her and see if you can buy them online or whether you have to go in store to get them. If you have to go in store to get them, I'm so sorry, you're, you're just gonna be missing out. Okay, we're gonna throw this together. We're gonna eat dinner. I gotta feed the boy. Then we're gonna go downstairs and watch some Game of Thrones. So real soon, quick episode today since it started late in the afternoon. And then we'll probably close out the vlog. Hmm. But it was supposed to storm and guess what? <laughs> it missed us. It was supposed to come straight over us. It went like over that way, past us. So I think we're, I think we've avoided it. I've got to look for the late night forecast, but I think we avoided the mega storm. And we're going to the zoo in the morning with Hudson, so the less rain, the better. And my final result of my plate. Uh -huh. What do you think of that? Does that look delicious or what? And I'm gonna probably hit it with a little soy sauce because, you know, I like the taste of soy sauce. Now, if you use soy sauce and you need gluten-free, you need to get gluten-free soy sauce. I am not using gluten-free soy sauce. Soy sauce is not gluten-free, just so you know. So Casey did not opt for the soy sauce, but I did. What do you got there? The cutest letter from Avery. Avery? Who's Avery? Uh-oh, somebody's getting mad. Daddy's trying to snuggle you and you're just getting mad. What are you getting mad about? Let's hear about Avery, okay? Can we be smiley about Avery? So huh? I believe Avery's either in Hudson's class or she is the sister of one of Hudson's classmates. Oh. I'm pretty sure she's one of Hudson's friends. And that sounds bad that I don't know that, but... Well, we're just, we're that. learning who all of our classmates are. So it says, Dear Hudson, hope you will have so much fun. I love you very much. And then there's a picture of Avery and Hudson at the bottom. Uh, and Hudson's in a wheelchair and Avery's right next to her. Can I see? Super cute. And it's got two purple hearts on the Let back. Let me see. Super cute. So I this is it. like... A classmate brought it in, but I think the teacher said that it was a classmate's sibling. And the classmate talks so much about Hudson that the classmate's sibling wrote a letter for Hudson for school and then sent so it home. Cute. Super cute. So apparently Hudson is being somebody's world. <laughs> Speaking of being somebody's world, you can get these shirts at seethesidesfam.com. Hudson and... Are you gonna be okay? Daddy's gonna have to keep bouncing you during this show, isn't he? Like the shirt says, I think we're gonna close out the vlog. So remember, to the world, you may be one no, person. I do it. Oh, Dominic wants to do it. To the world, you may be one person, but to one person, you may be the world. So go be somebody's world. All right, there we go. All right, guys, Let's we love do you. The bam. bam! Bam! You missed it. Bam. No other end. Bam.